One thing you'll notice if you do look at those files is a couple little hints about potential uh, components we can make because I kind of have a CSS file for some components that I think we could make. Uh, there's one here called chatheader.css. That's one that, uh, I don't remember if this was Troy or who it was, somebody pointed this out. Um, we can have this line up here be a separate component. Right, the little gray bar. That was, that was you? I was calling, okay. Yeah. So the little gray bar, we, we'll call that chat header. So if this whole thing is chat, I'll call this chat header. So let's go ahead and make that. It seems kind of easy. So capital C chat, capital H header dot JS. So import React and component from React. Make a new class called the name of our component, chat, capital H header. It extends component. We need a render method. That render method is going to need to return some JSX. As always, I'm going to make a div with the name of the component as a class styled exactly the same way. So capital C, capital H, chat header. I will export default chat header at the end. But this time, let's actually put some real markup in here. So I'm going to actually open up a separate code window for um, the static version so we can poke around at that. So all the HTML is in static.html. I'm going to scroll down and look for chat header. I did put class names in there to help. So this is what I need here. Actually, instead of div class name, I could do header class name. Headers are basically just divs anyway. They just have a better, more semantic name. How about I just put all of this here? So one thing I know I'll need to change, I've got some classes in there. I need to change those to class name. I can again use my trick with multiple cursors. Put my cursor right after class here. Hold down Alt or Option. Put it right after this one. And just type capital N name. And I fixed it. Out of the static project. I'm going to paste it in Slack, though. So static HTML here has what we kind of want the markup to look like when we're finished. Now, of course, general and the description of the general room will change to be dynamic data once we have multiple rooms. For right now, I'm going to just hard code it just so we can get it broken up into multiple components. We'll worry about making real data later on. So I have my chat header component. It's got a little bit of content in it. We need to import this into what other component? Into chat, right? Not into main. Chat is the entire right portion here. So chat header is right at the top of that. So I'll need to import this into my chat component. So I'll import chat header from dot slash chat header. And instead of having the word chat here, I'll just put in a chat header tag to include my new component inside my older component. Copying and pasting the chat header.js now. And let's have a look. And there it is. It's a little big, but it's there. So it's getting a little closer now. Sidebar just has the word sidebar, but we've got a chat header over in our chat section. Questions about that? 